Okay. Um, I went outside and I drilled these two little holes. Now, if, if you don't, if you carve or do things like this and, and get you a Dremel tool, a Dremel uh, moto tool, I'll tell you what, those things are fantastic. Um, I put a little bits on them. I put a little drill bits on them. And I mean, they're just amazing for things like this, in other words, to carve. And uh, I drilled out the, the hands with that. Um, I'm not sure, sure what size that drill. 3 16 quarter inch, somewhere around there, is where it's going to be. And uh, those things are just, uh, they have helped me so much. They're amazing. You can sand with them. You can, uh, and you can get one for, um, wow, well, just for um, $60, $50, something like that. But uh, they're just amazing to have, or a small drill, or something like that to use. It's just, uh, it doesn't have to be Dremel. It can be uh, Sears makes them. But I think Dremel makes most of them, or a little rotary. They're real, 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 real excuse me, rotary tools, what they are. So I drilled the little holes, and I went, and I cut out a couple of small dowels. Okay, and one of them's going to be our mallet, and one of them's going to be our um now to be honest with you i'm going to have a lot of trouble uh i have my hands i have a lot of trouble with this glove holding something like this so i'm going to go ahead and take this glove off for a moment i i don't please don't um uh, misunderstand me but um okay now, on the mallet, I'm just going to kind of I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut a V cut in there. Do this. Because I have an awful hard time holding that piece. Now, I can also make it a bigger piece and then do it and cut it off. But for the camera's sake, I wanted to show you how to do it this way and I'm going to bring this area down in here now I've done this now I don't want you to take your glove off okay but for me I have a little problem with my fingers my hands um, This is going to be the mallet that he's going to be using. See that? Let me go ahead and bring this down where it will fit into his hand. it might already no it doesn't quite fit see see that now I'm going to bring it and as you know a mallet basically is just a block of wood See how small a cuts I'm making when I get to something this small? Very tiny cuts, just sort of scraping. Oh, look at that, see? Now that's a little bit too long. A mallet isn't quite that long, but I'm on move a little bit more. Ah, I can cut it off. I can do the same thing. I can go out there and cut it off.
See that? Okay. And I will simply set it in this hand here. Look at that. And that will be his mallet, okay? That'll be his mallet right there. Now, I'm also going to do a gouge that he's going to have in the other hand. Now, how I would do this, and I can use my, um, let me choose the side that I want to fit in the hand, and let's just be this side here, or I can kind of, And I'm doing now if you want to put a little band-aid or something right there to keep you from sticking your finger but see see how see how very very sh light cuts I take right in there very light cuts nothing where it will fit in see his hand just like that now of course that's way too long I'm probably gonna have to end up cutting it off a little bit that's okay bring back just a little bit more okay see that good what well, fits into his hand now let's take our little gouge And very, very, now I'm going to put my glove on for this one. Anytime you use a gouge, you want to have a glove on. Okay. And I'm going to take that gouge. I'm just going to kind of do this. Okay. Just sort of in this area in here. See how I'm looking? Sorry, I had a hard time seeing it worse than anything. Just removing a little bit at a time. Look at that. See that little gouge? See that? Kind of like a little screw skew gouge look at that see now we'll take my knife and I'm gonna kind of shave this down just a little bit look at that Look at it from this point. See that? Now what I want to do, I want to cut this off. I want to come here. I want to do this around it. just hard for me to hold this thing when I'm got my glove on maybe it's because my hands are getting old okay, just like that I'm gonna cut a little bit of that off Bring that down. Look 
Okay. Take my little gouge again. Let me get my. And look at that. See that? And I'm going to come a little bit thinner here. in there like that and look at that and cut that off right there now we can go ahead and take and put us a since the gouge usually goes all the way through the hand in other words We can another, put another little piece in the back side here, and I can do that. Um, we, our time's about up here, and then we'll do that. But he's got a mallet in one hand, and he's got the gouge in the other hand. Okay.